Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn together how to create a schedule in Autodesk Revit. Schedule that we are going to need in several uh, phases in our construction project. And in this video we are going to master uh, Revit schedule. So we are going to uh, create together a whole schedule like this one. And we will master several techniques in Revit schedule like uh, customizing themes and filters, sorting, grouping and formatting and appearance. And for uh, schedule in the Autodesk Revit, we can share this uh, schedule directly from the Autodesk, uh, from the Revit model, or we can show this schedule in the, in, the, in the sheet, and we can apply several filters and visibility setting for the 3D model combined with the schedule. So let's begin. So, first of all, let's delete this one. We can start uh, with creating schedule from this button here. Create a new schedule for quantities. And create a wall schedule, and the second uh, the second step is to select what are the pieces uh, that we are going to show in our schedule. For our example, we are going to show the area. Let's take the cost, and the count, uh, family, type, and the volume. And uh, for the scheduled fields, we can place uh, place these uh, these uh, columns in order. So in our example, we are going to place the family first, then the type, then the count, how many elements are in this uh, type, then the area, and the volume. Okay. And in a few seconds, uh, the whole schedule is created. So uh, let's do together a quick uh, sort and group and filter. Let's suppose that we want to customize and modify our schedule and show them a uh, group. We will pick one source and group. Let's suppose that we want to sort our schedule by family. Okay, so so our uh, our fields are now sorted by family, but as you see, they are not uh, uh, visualized clearly. So let's click this header here. So now header is equal, and then the cotton one. Let's apply another sorting. For the second uh, uh, sorting criteria, we will choose the type and we will place a blank line. So, as we see now, uh, we can see that the basic wall has the first type, which is uh, KV wall sliders, and the second type, which is CL uh, W1. Then we have another type, which is foundation. And the other type is period and etc. So let's apply another. Let's move this back down. I think this one is better. The basic wall. Then we have the first type, which is uh, KVT wall. And then the second type, which is CL. And then the third type, which is foundation, and period, etc. And you can not see the count if it is one. We can show them the So we 
we cannot see that we have six, uh, six, six basic word with the type CLW1 and 18 basic word with the type interior partition. But for our case, we want to optimize each, uh, each item. Okay. Let's suppose that we want to, uh, to create a new uh, formatting. For example, I want to remove this uh, here from the volume column. Let's click on volume. We'll click on field format. I don't want to use bright setting. I want to leave it there it is in place. I don't want it anything. Leave it OK. So and we can add here the unit, which is cubic meter. So we can align them. Center. Let's suppose that our client wants to, to see uh, and identify uh, only the, uh, the world that have uh, an area that are greater than, let's suppose, uh, 20, to, uh, 20 meter square. Uh, we are going to create a new format condition for the area that has greater or equal to 20 meter. We apply color. Let's use this color. Okay. So the panel are selected. We can apply this for the area too. So once we finish creating our schedule, uh, we need to apply uh, some visibility settings and filters on our 3D view. So let's select, uh, let's select this uh, 3D sketch that we have created in the last video. Excuse me, it's already created. So let's duplicate this one. So, we are going to apply some visibility settings and some filter on this view that will be combined with our world schedule according to some uh, condition that we have created in uh, the area format. Let's remember together that we have created the condition format for the area that show in green all the area that have uh, a value greater than 20 uh, square meter. So we will apply the same condition here in our uh, 3D view and we will combine these two, uh, these two uh, the, the 3D view with the world schedule in our sheet. So I want to rename this view. Excuse me. So we pick VG, which is the visibility on the graphic settings. We we'll go to filter and we add a new one. Edit. I want to 
So we will create a new filter condition. We will call it work later than empty. The name does not accept any sender. Okay. So our filter uh, is applied on the words category. So we want to show the area that are greater or equal to 20. Right. So the filter here will only show uh, the words that are greater than 20 square meter. Okay. So we are going to uh, for projection and surface we're going to select the color which is this one and for the patterns we're going to select the same color Hit ok and we're going to apply the, this uh, this filter uh, condition the view will become like this so if you notice for this wall Which is a curtain, uh, a curtain wall. We add this one here. So these walls have an area that are greater than twenty. So the next step is to create a sheet and add our 3D view and our world schedule in the same sheet. So we are going to create a new sheet with the AI method. By the way, we are going to create a later video how to customize your uh, your sheet and add your uh, firm symbol or the, your firm logo, excuse me. And you can add also your website, your contact address, your, uh, your contact uh, number, your email. So, in this uh, sheet, we want to add this view, previously, <coughs> and we will add also our schedule, which is the whole schedule, which is this one. I do think, I think that our schedule uh, is too big for our sheet, so let's customize it first. Let's go to sort one grouping inside the total type of count and total and I don't want to itemize every instance. So it's okay. It is not cool. So let's go back and device. Show only the area that are greater or equal to 20. Okay. So now we are, uh, we are seeing only the wall that have an area that are greater than 20. So we can make that our schedule is now. And here, so we finished uh, creating our sheet. We added the schedule. We added the three D view. We can add uh, uh, other uh, visibility setting uh, for the three D view or for the schedule. 
we can modify our font of title we can for example the red and t bold italic let's forget we want to show even bigger like this and we just change the directly to the chief And by the way, we can export uh, this schedule directly to Microsoft Excel spreadsheet using the plugin the root. Let's do one example together. How to export uh, a schedule directly to uh, Microsoft Excel spreadsheet? We go to this plugin called Chitlin from the roots. Going to export the schedule. The schedule. Mm -hmm. Let's do it here first. Mm -hmm. Like that. We export it. To Microsoft Excel, keep the formatting. Yes, schedule, save it. And here are our schedule. Microsoft Excel exported directly from the Revit map. So let's go back to our Revit model. And that's it for today. And thank you for watching. If you like our uh, our video and our content, please like our video on YouTube and subscribe to our channel. And see you soon. Thank you. Thank you.